Hi. When building a value proposition, we'll first look at what customer segments are. Then we'll look at the specific pains and gains of those customer segments, and we see how we can bring it all together in a big value proposition. I guess that by now you're so convinced of the value in your business proposition that you're sure that everybody could be your customer. Perhaps it's a good idea to define customer segments or customer groups. Customer segments are groups of customers with the same needs, and they all have a specific value proposition. For each group of customers, you'll have to define a specific value proposition. When defining customer segments, it's an idea to look at specific demographics, like age or gender, but you could also look at more subjective things, like interests or hobbies. Do you know who your customer really is? Is it the one who makes the buying decision? The one who pays or the person who will actually use your product? I always like to give the example of a toy store. I'm walking with my wife and my son in the toy store and we have a situation there. My son has the demand, he wants to buy a toy, my wife makes a decision and we all know who has to pay for the toy in the end. It's important to target all those three customers with a dedicated value proposition. When looking at your customer segments, maybe it's an idea to look at all the tasks they have to achieve, or maybe they have needs they want to satisfy or problems that they want to mitigate. It's very important to think of those needs and problems not only in the professional setting, but maybe they're related to the personal life. This is information you will not get from typical desk research. You will have to get out and talk to customers. You'll have to talk to a lot of customers to really dig into their needs, problems and tasks. Your value proposition is your specific answer to a customer segment and the pains and gains they have to cope with or the jobs they have to perform. It's important to understand that the value proposition is not the same as your product features. Let's take an example. Suppose I'm running a gym. The product features I'm having are the equipment in my room and the personal trainers. The pain customers experience is that it's very difficult to get into shape and do all the exercises. The gain is that you receive more compliments on how you look. We can conclude that your value proposition is the value you offer to specific target groups. This might differ for different customer segments. A good value proposition targets pains, gains or jobs of each customer segment involved in the buying process. Thank <laughs> you.